are really starting to rely more and more on robots to really take care of their forecare. And so um, we keep raising the bar. And to up the game of, of cleaning, we need to increasingly make our robots more intelligent. And so whether that's making it possible to more precisely tell the robot, well, just clean around the kitchen table, avoid causing drama in the home by making sure you don't interrupt nap time. Um, and of course, um, uh, nobody likes feeling like they need to clean up before they vacuum. Uh, these all require the robots to be more and more intelligent, requires more processing power. And the J7 Plus robot not only empties itself when it's done, it recognizes the different types of objects on the floor and so that if you drop your headphones, it will go around it as opposed to causing you um, a, a drama of, of uh, separating a headphone from the robot. And of course, as you mentioned, that unlikely yet highly disastrous run-in between robot and pet waste. How does it do that? It can smell? Now they, uh, you know, we tried that. I, you know, this has actually been something we've been working on for, I don't know, nearly a decade, certainly more than five years. And we tried smell, we tried something called capacitive sensing. But as we were able to put more and more processing power on the Roomba, we can actually run machine learning algorithms uh, and use the camera to, to detect the pet waste. Now, of course, back at iRobot, this was not necessarily the most glamorous job that one could have. Um, but, <laughs> But, you know, literally we built hundreds of Play-Doh models of who every iRobotier's pet was photographed um, trying, you know, whenever it went to the bathroom. And we even made synthetic models of, of, of pet waste. And um, uh, we're confident we got it, we got it pretty well, well, well covered.